1986 movie Aliens is considered the greatest sequel ever made. It was directed and written by James Cameron, who was fresh off the Terminator and Rambo sequel, co-written. Sigourney Weaver returned as Ellen Ripley, whose portrayal of her character, particularly in the climactic battle against the alien queen and her fierce determination to save the young Newt, remains ahead of its time. Cameron had brought in actors from the Terminator such as Michael Bean as Corporal Hicks, Lance Henriksen as the android bishop, and Bill Baxton as a private Hudson. The result? A critically acclaimed masterpiece boasting a remarkable 98% critics rating on Rotten Tomatoes, brimming with groundbreaking special effects that could act as a standalone cinematic masterpiece. But how does one surpass such greatness? Aliens 3, released six years later in 1992, saw Weaver reprising her role as Ripley. However, this installment left many fans and critics disheartened. With the abrupt demise of Newt and Corporal Hicks at the outset, and Bishop's lackluster appearance coupled with the less thrilling setting of the penal mining colony, it failed to capture the magic of its predecessor. While Ripley's sacrificial act and the daring confrontation with the aliens without weaponry provided some redeeming qualities, the overall reception was one of disappointment. In our reimagining, we strive to craft a sequel worthy of the aliens' legacy. Our journey begins with the Sulaco's return to Gateway Station, awakening Ripley, Hicks, and Newt from stasis. Yet Ripley finds herself swiftly apprehended, blamed for all loss and property at Hadley's Hope, and sentenced to nine years in a nearby penal colony. Here we delve deeper into Ripley's psyche, acknowledging the loss of her daughter between the first two films, a driving force behind her efforts to save Newt. During her imprisonment, Ripley forms an intimate bond with Dr. Clemens, the one character from Aliens 3 we are bringing in. Only now he's providing psychiatric care. Burdened by trauma and PTSD from her past ordeals, Ripley finds solace in Clemens, but also harbors a burning desire for vengeance against the company. Meanwhile, unbeknownst to Ripley, Newt is clandestinely taken by the company, who find traces of the Queen's DNA within her. Despite injuries, Hicks assumes the role of First Sergeant, tasked with training a new Alien Corps team for future threats. Enter Corporal Damien, a reminiscent figure of a younger Hicks, endowed with Vasquez's resilience. Fast forward nine years and Ripley receives her long-awaited freedom, accompanied by Bishop, now fully restored. However, their reunion is marred by grim news. Capital City has fallen to xenomorphs, and Newt is missing. Determined to rescue her surrogate daughter, Ripley embarks on a perilous journey back to Earth. Back on Earth, we see the Alien Corps, led by First Sergeant Hicks, taking down a few xenomorphs. Capital City is in ruins and is under quarantine. There have been talks of a complete evacuation and nuking of the capital as a last resort. Ripley reunites with Hicks as they both take a liking to each other. She finds out that scientists were able to grow a new queen from Newt's blood in a lab. The queen managed to escape more recently. Newt is also tied telepathically with the queen and has been missing for some time. After heavy battles in the city, Bishop manages to track Newt to a skyscraper in the city. Ripley finally finds Newt, now a young adult. However, Newt speaks on behalf of the Queen, who knows from Newt's memories that Ripley was responsible for what happened to the last hive. In anger, Newt briefly attacks Ripley, until she breaks her connection with the Queen and tells Ripley to run. Suddenly, hundreds of xenomorphs and the Queen herself surround our heroes who fight back. Tragedy strikes when Hicks sacrifices himself by blowing up the Queen who had taken him. Only a few survivors, including Corporal Damien, enter a dropship to escape the city. As Ripley mourns the loss of Hicks, Newt thanks her for everything, but says she's infected with what is going to become the next queen. Ripley, hoping that they could find a way to save Newt, informs Bishop about the infection, and he instantly kills Newt. Ripley is in disbelief and starts to shoot down Bishop. The partially damaged Bishop says he only did what was necessary, and that there was no hope for her. Ripley turns away from him and sees the capital nuked from a distance. A few months later, Dr. Clemens makes it to Earth to see Ripley, who with Corporal Damien are planning to violently strike back at the company. While we prefer to end this as a trilogy, the aftermath could open up to more storytelling. What did you think of this reimagining of Aliens 3? Would you like to see a reimagining of Aliens 4? Comment below, like, subscribe, and thank you for watching in the plot.